James Damore once trusted Google not to be evil. Probably not anymore. He joins us now. James, thanks all for coming on. I, I read, you know, th this saga from beginning until right now, and, and the one question that kept coming back to me was, did anyone at Google, before firing you, bother to respond to any of the points that you made? It's a data-driven company. They always say that. Did they say, here's why you're wrong, or did they just say, you're being punished for asking questions? Yeah, when I shared it with individual Googlers, they actually had an actual reasoned discussion with me, but only when it became viral did this huge emotional outrage happen. So, I mean, of all places, you wouldn't think Google would have a culture where emotional outrage drives decision making. I mean, I thought the whole point of Google was they're rational, but they don't sound rational at all. Yeah, there's certain dogmas that you really can't dissent against at Google, and one of them being that there's any difference between people. So the, the diversity officer, Ms. Brown, uh, who said that your assumptions about gender were incorrect, did she ever explain how? Did she ever, again, point by point, rebut what you had asserted? No, they, they haven't really given any details. They've just, the entire time, either just called me names, shamed me, or just made broad generalizations saying that what I was saying was pseudoscience, when really... This is scientific consensus. Well, that there are differences between the sexes rooted in biology? I mean, I, don't, I didn't even think that was up for debate. I mean, that's, are, they, are they contesting that? It seems like it. Huh. What did they say to you when they canned you? They, when they called you in, how did the conversation go? What was the justification for ending your career at Google? So the official justification was perpetuating gender stereotypes. And how did they convey that to you? Was there a star chamber where they were, you know, sitting up on a dais? James, you have perpetuated gender stereotypes. Or how, how did they tell you you'd committed the crime of stereotype perpetuation? They, they really just called me and said, you've been terminated for perpetuating gender stereotypes. And when I asked for more details, they wouldn't give me any. <laughs> what did they say? We're not giving you any? Yeah, it's just, oh, it's final. There's nothing more that we can do. You're fired. Now let's go over the details of, you know, actually getting your stuff to you. It's, it's hard to believe that anybody, even people who disagree with you and whatever your poli I, mean, I don't even know what your politics are, but disagree with the memo that you wrote. It's hard to believe that anybody could defend that kind of reaction from Google, because it's so deeply unreasonable and childish, stupid, authoritarian, un-American, nothing good about it. Are you surprised to see a lot of your fellow technology people defending that decision? Yeah, quite honestly, I am surprised, although I sort of predicted it in the introduction to the document. So I, I realized that this happened at least at the small scale where people will shame you if you say anything that's not politically correct. But I never realized that it could get so far that they would actually fire me for trying to actually improve Google. Without even explaining why you were wrong. So, I mean, I, right. I guess the obvious question is if you have a company as big as Google is and as powerful as Google is, Acting in a way that's this irrational in public, what does it say about the way they conduct business in private? Should the rest of us be worried, considering that so much of how we see the world is filtered through Google? Yeah, there are definitely some political biases within Google that I was trying to shed light on in the document and that they affect many parts of the business and, for example, who they do business with and what type of content they create. And I really think that those political biases need to be addressed. Man, I think so too. James, thanks a lot for coming on. And I hope to meet you in person someday. You're a brave man. Yeah. I appreciate it.